Hello, everybody. Could everybody stop being mean, please? Thank you very much, Purple Chess, for the apology. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 50, first, second round match between Mr. Page and Gdynik. Um Don't be mean. Don't be mean, Chirgan. Nobody be mean. Please. Okay, please don't be mean. No matter how funny it is, don't be mean. <laughs> right, Gdynik has uh, a bribe and a wizard and setek so he has got a lot of uh he's got a lot of inducements he's done a lot of tv versus this amazing mr page team uh, he's got 13 players mr page he's benching his ball carrier who isn't a full ball carrier because he took frenzy because he's a madman but it's quite good actually doesn't it it, it gives your ball carrier a second dimension like sure hands is the obvious choice to protect against war dancers but having Frenzy, you know, in most games is probably going to be better than Sure Hands, isn't it? Giving him the defensive. But then he's not he's not fielding on defence. So giving that defensive uh, <laughs> giving him that defensive angle, not worth it if you're not going to field him on defence. So there you go. But yeah, I'm sure it was good at some point in the development of his team. And then uh, his LOS is, is, even his LOS is stacked here, by the way. He's having to put a block mighty and a block mighty tackle on the LOS because his team is that stacked. Claw Mighty's guards, Claw Palm, Claw Mighty tackles. Pretty, pretty, really, really nice team. Um, but you know, Gdynik has has tackle palm of his own with Pro, so he could he can high roll a bit there. He's got Mighty Blow uh, on the Tomb Guardian. One Tomb Guardian has Mighty Blow, and this Blitz has Mighty as well. So he's got some Mighty Blow guys. And he's got a dirty player, so he can he can high roll, and uh, he's got lots of players. He's got regen on everybody, so he, he can stay in here. He can stay in this match. He can outbash. Look, he's already two men up. So it's interesting, isn't it? Like Nick is definitely going to have a ch chance here, but I'd still be picking Mr. Page to win this. Um, so it's interesting. Very, in it's super interesting actually. Super interesting. Unfortunately, Kemri are one of those teams where if things don't go right, they get very tricky, right? And uh, chances are against a team rippling with Claw Mighty, um, things aren't going to go right at some point, and then it gets very, very difficult for the Kemri. Yes, Decay on Tomb Guardians kills them in progression formats, unless unless you're as lucky as Hancock. But generally, <laughs> the, the Decay makes them unfun as well, right? It's always unfun to lose your skilled up players. My favourite player, um, and you know, increasing the losses is terrible. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. And you know, Gdynik will be, you know, using every every trick in the book to try and win this. Like he's gonna he's gonna give his all and he is very, very good at blood balls. So it might be enough, it might be interesting. He might be able to do the job. But also he might just get shot on by Claw Mighty. <laughs> so we'll see. No death yet. But yeah, it's the thing like Pom Pom versus Armor Eight isn't that much worse than Claw Pom. So this could definitely get uh Oh, this could definitely go Nick's way with the dice. Not a not a, like a crazy stretch for it to start to go really bad. Oh, 
really bad. Ah, oh, this is really bad. It's gonna be amazing, guys. <laughs> it could be amazing, guys. You never know. My jumper is purple. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> My jumper is blue. I don't know why I said purple. <laughs> Strong move by uh, Gdynik here. He's, I think he's going to want to keep his uh, DP in as well, isn't it? This is a bit tricky. A bit of a tricky turn. Oh, we're pulling the wrong one. Sad. Sad times. I really thought that this guy was going to come down and then he was going to punch him and then he was going to pawn this one. Because he can't reach for this foul, can he? One, two, three, four. Oh, he can just reach for the foul. But do you put the guard in and get claw mighty? You don't want to, do you? This is all a bit of shit. Do you just 1D that guy? Yeah, I guess he's going to 1D him. <laughs> yeah, Plo, we've got we've got another great we've got another great uh, a great another great quote for you. This was uh, this is from PC um, parodying David Williams, <laughs> who apologised for uh, X Factor things. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. That's a lovely, that's a lovely one, dude. Oh, wow, a blue ball question. Um, uh, David Williams called X Factor contestants like C nuts and sluts and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, there's a kill! Brutal. Brutal. Apple doesn't really work. It's still a. Uh, it's still a niggle. And bribe doesn't work. So, that is an interesting thing, isn't it? If, if that bribe had worked, Nick could have really teed off with no apple and already players down. So that's a, actually a huge send off, right? This guy could have been down and, and kept going down and stuff. Um, but the thing is, even with all this strength advantage in the guard, like. And the players up, Nick still can't just like knock it, lock him down because he'll be able to get a 2D somewhere and then that will be able to crack open other hits. And so it's just, it's still a nightmare for Nick. As like, as amazing as this is going, it's still really, really dicey for Nick. Um, he's just constantly going to be on like verge of collapse, isn't he? It's going to be horrible. Playing my orcs against Chaos with four Claw Mighty Warriors. None of the Beastmen are anything to mention, they have no tackle. Consumer has to put my two Blodge Blitzers on the line. I'd still, I'd still just want to put shitheads on the line, to be honest. And uh, depends. Is it in a league? Is it? Yeah, in the league. So in the league, I'd still just prioritise like team survival and stuff. And like, there's still thirty percent of power your blodges. Like, it's not that unlikely. Just power your blodges, and then you're losing better players. This is a good guide for how to play against chaos, though, right? With uh, with orcs, even though they're Camry. It's still uh it wasn't that good a player. He was just uh, he was just a block guard. 
So that's really like that's really shit for Nick because you know this guy was nearly fallible, and this guy being killed would have been incredible. And yep, here we go. One of the towers of power is already gone, and uh, yep, it's, this is already turning against Nick. Despite removing three players, he's had two of his own gone. One's a Toomey. Balls based. You know, it's, uh, yeah, but it's all. It's all going to rat shit. Why did he take the power and why did Nick stand firm? That's a very good question. I've got no fucking idea. Uh, wait, has he got a blocks? No, I don't understand. Can you explain why DT is a great skill? No, Fault Force, because it isn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Correct. Yeah, guard is removed, and like it's good. There's no reroll. Like you know, like if 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 Nick's uh, bribe had worked, uh, Mister Page would be in a lot of trouble, right? Because like people would be getting still like good players would be getting fouled now, and basically fouled one of the worst players that there was. Um, like he still kind of had to foul him. Just unlucky on the high roll. If Full Force was a Blood Bowl Blord. I don't know what that means. Falk. But. Player. Uh, so if, if Faulty was a Blood Bowl player, his stats would be 4, 3, 1, 7. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite good for a completely untrained human with no armor on. I guess he could get he could have human armor. Four three one eight. And then uh, no skills, obviously, because he doesn't play Blood Bowl. So there you go, that's, that's pretty good for a random human, I would say. I would say the average the average untrained human would be probably five two one. <laughs> Eight or seven. <laughs> Why would you have AV10? Do you wear a lot of armor habitually, Fault Force? Like, your armor is defined, defined by your armor, right? You're not a black orc or anything. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> Unfortunately, that only works for dwarves because Games Workshop is stupid. What would Jimmy Fantastic's starting stats and skills be? Um, 5, 3, 1, 8. No skills. <laughs> I've got a voice for radio and it fears to back it up before. Yeah, diving tackle. It, like, it's useful for some players, right? You, you, you put it on elf blitzers if they get loads of normals and it's sometimes alright. And you give it to snotlings because they've got nothing else they can take. And you can give it to skinks and halflings and goblins sometimes because they run out of things to take pretty quickly. Goliath stats and skills. Goliath's, Goliath would be probably move five, strength four, maybe. Yeah, he's, 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 he's six foot nine. <laughs> uh, probably still agility one. <laughs> Probably still armor eight and still no skills because he's not a blood bowl player. You see, giving giving peasants fend because they 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 cower away from lords is fucking stupid. They don't have any blood bowl skills because they don't fucking play blood bowl, do they? Idiotic, idiotic. You'd probably like take hobgoblins. I guess hobgoblins. 
Maybe the average human would be 6327, eh? Maybe the average untrained human is 6327. Yeah. Who knows? to do erotic readings for money. Holy moly. Like a lot of humans are going to be strength two. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It catches a strength two. Like it depends, it depends how how like malnutritioned and horrendous a uh, medieval player is. Because, you know, they're obviously, you're not comparing Blood Bowl players to modern NFL players. Where, you know, so it's interesting, isn't it? But then the thing is, the thing is, a Chaos Warrior is far superior to an NFL player. Maybe not, like, the absolute best, right? So it's just weird, isn't it? Who knows, who knows how you would compare Blood Bowl players. Like, who knows what the average, like, who knows what the, what a Blood Bowl player is comparable to. It's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Amazon blocker PC. Uh, just because he just he just double GFI the base of the ball because Paige was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> Nobody's better than Tom Brady. Uh, faulty. We've got a bit of a weakness here. Uh, I wonder if Gadenik will be able to spot this gaping hole in Mr. Page's defense. Oof. It's going to be a struggle, struggle to spot. Um, and I think, I think, I think he'll take it. You even get the dodge off here, right, as well, to get him up. There was a tangent out of nowhere. Yeah, there was a tangent out of nowhere. It has been fine. It's just the if fault forces in chat and distracting me. <laughs> you have to go this way, like you you hundred percent go. He's probably just thinking about like if he's gonna uh uh blitz with him now, yeah. If he's gonna blitz with him now, which I think probably shouldn't have. Oh he's got pro though. Because now he's out of move, right? But he did a blitz with block and had pro. So now he just doesn't break through. Which I guess if he blitzed with a uh, two me, he'd have less of an option. You have been, yeah. Thank you very much, Faulty. Oh my god, I am starving now, by the way. I'm actually starving. This was. Uh, I'm going all woozy and lightheaded. Are you are you around PC? Do you wanna do you wanna jump in the booth for a little bit? I don't want a kebab, thanks. No fault, false. Can sadly. Kill on. Find me, no, find me's already said no. Kalon hasn't jumped in, and like PC hasn't jumped in, so I assumed. I assumed you couldn't. I assumed you would have jumped in if you could. Still have no voice. Fair enough. No problem, no problem. I'll just hopefully be able to make the end of this. <laughs> that was my plan. My plan was to just hope I'll make the end, but now I'm like going all, all crazy, like, uh, you know, lack of, lack of sugar type thing that I get sometimes. So it's pretty, it's pretty bad. I guess I could get. I'll. I'll. I'll eat something. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll eat something. I'll be right back. Mister Page will take three minutes to play his turn anyway, so it's all right.
All right. Did I miss anything? Okay, so Mr. Page is based up. And, uh... We're equal men. And there's a stun. Nick isn't based, so he can just blitz around here and move around, which is, like, terrible, but what else can you do? I guess you can blitz here and move these guys around. Blitz him. Get around a bit. I guess this is the only play he's got. It's terrible, but there you go. Chili on kebab, very, uh, very common. Very common. Very common. I asked the reason that Nick went this side, even though this side is better, is because this guy has jump up. And Nick, being better than everybody in Rebel, <laughs> can see that this guy has got jump up. So therefore, it would be too risky going around here. Hello, Veli. Uh, yeah, Nick held his own for a bit. He was he rolled a one on the bribe, um, but the Kaz stuck and is a niggle on this warrior. And Mr. Page is out of apples. Nick still got his whiz, but yeah, he's gonna really struggle to get it in his knee. Like that's the problem. Is Nick Henry in desperation? Stakes are just terrible. Like they've got no mobility, so can base the ball. And it's gonna be really, really like next turn is gonna be a nightmare for Nick. Absolute nightmare. Do you know what, Folly? You could get me a kebab today. <laughs> you could. You could if you wanted, Folly. What a lovely fella, Faulty. Nah, I don't want uh, I won't want one next week, but... Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh, God. Pile on. No, uh, today. Today, Fault Falls. It's not, it's not next week. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm glad I didn't. Hello, Noalias. Kebab, please. Nice. So there you go. Amazingly, like, all all Mr. Page had to do was double base the ball. And he's managed to not double base the ball. So there is will be a little bit of a chance for Nick to do something this turn. And it will be able to blitz, run up, 
and get forward, but he's going to be able to get in with the, the, this guy anyway, right? So this is uh, this is pretty fucked for Nick. Five dollars, that's about a hundred pound now. Mr. Page has all of the equity. All of the equity. Like he always did. Like it, this, this was always had a very high chance of happening. And then Kemri or Tarawa when they're on the back foot. Nick really needed this send off to not happen. And like keep fouling good players but like there's too many good players like that's the problem right like obviously this guy ideally you want to be able to foul but like it's so hard to just foul enough to like keep on top but that's the thing once he's down he's almost out because he just gets teed off on and people based up and it's just how does he do anything it's a nightmare like literally you blitz him and then you can you can hope that mr page does this for no apparent reason I guess he's thinking that he's going to go down here, so he's going to have to GFI next turn if he doesn't GFI this turn. But he's got this guy as well, I, I think that's unnecessary. But I guess he's got the re-roll, so he just does it anyway. Why not, eh? Now, from Nick, this this Tomb Guardian's almost the player now, right? <laughs> it's almost the player. To just lob it to this Tomb Guardian. Double GFI, lob it to the Tomb Guardian. Blitz him. <laughs> Block him. <laughs> and dodge through here and lob it. He, he does have the dodges here, doesn't he? Now with this block, he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But like the more obvious move is, is blitzing. Maybe he's run back now to just not get turned over. When the pass to the Tomb Guardian is 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 a serious option, you know you're in a bad you know you're in bad shape. <laughs> yes, fault falls, yes you have. <laughs> The send off was absolutely huge, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real, really unfortunate for Nick. Like he had to have it, he had to have it work, didn't he? That was the problem. Like, it didn't. So five plus dodge and a GFI. Yep. Does it? Look a dog. And then he can do this one, one GFI to screen it all off. Oh, what? Well, I mean, that is stronger, so I guess it was worth it. I don't know if he's streaming it himself. He's just, if he's streaming it himself, he was probably just saying, Oh, look at the whiteboard. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to my accent. <laughs> Great, that was a great Tomb Guardian turn, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Randy Tanner. Yeah, so this is this is pretty shit, wasn't it? That was pretty shit from uh, Mr. Page, not only having one thing back and allowing that to happen, basically. People will have done, yeah. Uh, Artemis did a stream of a bunch of them, and uh, you can just give you can just give Tomb Guardian leap in in custom and see it if you want to see it. 
So it's not actually that rare or exciting because you can just you can just do it. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I apologise. I can't even spell my own command. Do you know what? Honestly, Tomb Guardian with Diamond Tackle isn't that bad. And to, yeah, to, to, uh, to whoever asked about putting blodges on the line against Claw Mighty. This is what happens if you do, so don't do that. You'll just roll pals, <laughs> kill your best player, and then get the absolute god scatter through to their uh, to the rest of their team anyway. So there you go, amazing, uh, amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's scatter, a <laughs> fucking scatter. Yeah, this is like this is like my game versus PC, isn't it? You know, it's like my peak game versus PC. You already know that you've fucked and you've got no chance. You don't need this to happen to just like be fucking stupid. You can't risk, so he can just go there. So we can go one, two, three, four GFI, and then bring him down. So we can maybe I could bolt him. It's fucked though, isn't it? Man, that was that was brutal. <laughs> that was so brutal. I mean, that is, that is, it was already nearly, like, it was nearly GG from the start, but now, now, it's very, very, very close to GG, but it's not over, is it? Don't say it's over. Anything could happen. <laughs> Anything could happen. And quite a lot of removals. I mean, it was, it was always really likely to happen, wasn't it? This team is like, is insanely killy. Like it's crazy when you've got to put a block mighty and a block mighty tackle on the LOS. Like that's that's pretty fucking rowdy, isn't it? Oh, tagging him rather than the ball. Interesting. Safety to me. And tag them, there we go, now we're talking. Pretty good play by Gdanik. Oh, but to, though, to be fair, all he has to do is blitz him and then tag him, right, and then go down. But will he see the play, guys? Why not just put him there? Why would you go close to this guy? He's even like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand what the play is. Like, you definitely just want him further away because he's moving four. And then, 
you want to blitz this tomb guardian and then base from there right and then your the ball's here and he's there so he's got to go one two three four gfi gfi to hit you in fact you can go on the sideline so you have to go six five and then have the chance to surf you so that might be better but whatever whatever you do you, you don't fucking go here so he can just hit you Is he going to dodge him off? I just don't understand. He's going to dodge them both off. No, he's just going to claw pump. I mean, claw pumping is what I'd do. I'd claw pump and tag this guy. Potato. Potato. Oh, Christopher. Oh, there's another Kaz. No regen. That's basically GG. So GFI to base. I think you have to tag him. Oh, okay. oh yeah, you can base him without tagging. But he's just he's just left it, so it's just a just a five plus and no GFIs. And if he, he could have gone there. And here, right? That GFI would have been so good then if he'd gone here, because then it'd be one, two, three, four. Double GFI to hit. Or six five. GFI to surf. Glorious. No, I won't give it's in morbid. until I'm victorious. And I it's will true, defend. Over. Thank you very I much will for the Prime sub, welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. He can't score if the wizard works. One, two, three. He's got this one. So the wizard have to work and he'd have to get pushed. But one, two, three, GFI, GF. But I think he saves the wiz now, hopes he gets all his kills back. And does something in the second half. But I mean it's not gonna happen. I hate blocking this guy, I much prefer dodging him down. Because if you, if you dodge him down and put him here, right, then then having him there does something. Like this this guy, if he dodged out and double GFI and gone here, then you're actually making this a dodge a 6+, plus. you've actually done something good instead of going closer for no reason. Valley would whiz. And get in the half at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, nil nil. Yeah, maybe you have to whiz, yeah. Yeah, and then that gives you a chance to win 1-0, because you, if it goes to overtime, you lose, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it probably is correct. Now that you see it, Veli, like going in 1-0 down and then using the whiz to turn over is kind of pointless, right? You've just got to use it now to stop it and then hope you turn over without it, yeah. That's the only way you win. That's like playing to your outs, isn't it? As, as shit as using it now is, and as shit as hoping to turn him over and win 1-0 on his drive without the wizard is, it's the only way you win. So you have to you have to do the thing that is the only way that you can win. That's what Nick does. Just like Velian Ducky makes the right play. Fwoah. He's all right, yeah. T he takes wolf. Uh, he takes wrestle wolves though, so he's a bit shit. <laughs> Run away, yep, love it. Well, Nick's bribe and his wizard is gone. Um, and he managed to not score on his offense. <laughs> He's used them both to not score on his offense and get the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> so, good luck in the second half, Nick. <laughs> he, he does have a lot of bench, though. 
and yeah, if these three stay out, Mr. Page will be down players. So, you know, he's still in with a shot. It's not a good shot, but he's still in with a shot. No, yeah, well, it's it's more like the, using the Wiz to turn him over, right? Like, will you turn him over without the Wiz? Or stop him without the Wiz? Almost certainly not. So, there's an argument for keeping the Wiz. And, and going for that blitz and pick up the ball and, you know, stop him. It's kind of stupid, but also... Like, then then you're much more likely to get the stop of the... Well, you're much more likely to get the turnover. Um, if you do that, aren't you? Because you've got a whiz to help with the turnover. But you're also much more likely to be 1-0 behind than if you use the whiz now. And if you're 1-0 behind, you're not winning in normal time. Which means you're losing in overtime almost certainly, so... I, I do believe, upon consideration, that the wizard was definitely correct. Three, six, nine, ten. But then maybe, maybe you do need the wizard, yeah. It's hard, actually. Maybe it's not definitely correct. Maybe it's not definitely correct. I mean, there's pros and cons with everything, isn't there? Like, obviously, if you ha if we had Blood Bowl Stockfish, we'd know what the correct answer was. But there's a lot that goes into it, doesn't there? When, when like, you know, ha we don't know how much the wizard effect the wizard would have, even. So, you know, we don't know how good that the wizard is. Um, for the swing, so... You know it stops the score. Like, that's the thing. You know using it now, if it works, stops the score. So there's a lot to be said for just fucking stopping the score. Knowing that that's what it's going to do. Very interesting. What are the, you know, you know, 3D printing things? What are they called? STLs, are they? No, the files. Dickheads. Dickheads. Elliot. Yeah, we need Elliot in chat. It is basically lose now or lose later, yeah. That's true. Uh, no, STL is what I was looking for. Thanks, thanks, Faulty. Look at the big brain on Faulty. Pretty amazing, like how cheap, pretty good 3D printers are now, aren't they? Yeah, it is. Like I, I, I always think it's funny. Funny you should say that, Perville. I always think that like how close STL is to STC. Yeah. Fucking mad, isn't it? It's like it's kind of it's kind of crazy how close to uh, how close to reality 40k has gotten hasn't it with the uh, STCs instead of STLs and then like the, the 40k thing was uh, 
It was like everybody had a watch that like did everything and now everyone's got a phone that does everything. Like it's it's pretty close. Yeah, someone in chat thought he had like one that cost about six hundred pounds that was like like they looked didn't look as good as Games Workshop, but they looked they looked as good as uh, a lot of things. It was very impressive for like six hundred. Eight K resolution. Love I love this Mr. Page screen here. And then he didn't even he didn't even strengthen it, he just made it weaker. Brilliant. Like, you know, you've got a guy here, you put him like there, and then you think about, you know, this guy here. And so, so this is what you're doing. This guy goes to there, and this guy can reach to here. So you can you can have the full screen, but he just didn't. He just moved him. Just moved him away, moved him here, completely exposed him. Like, you know, not being mean to Mr. Page, but you can see why he doesn't do very well against elves, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can see why he doesn't do very well against elves. When like even against even against uh Kemri, this is not acceptable. Because there's just no like you're not gaining that much by doing this, right? The, the, what you're gaining by having this guy here and this these guys there just isn't that much compared to how much all of this can be terrible. This is a bit greedy from Nick because he needed the pow. Whereas if he goes there, the push would be enough, wouldn't it? But never mind. No, I'm, I preferred hitting this guy anyway. Interesting. It is, it is almost winnable, yeah. It's close enough to give you a, a bit of hope. <laughs> And he's a much better player, yeah, it's a much better player, obviously. But it needs a power instead of a push, and this is, like, gives you more penetration, doesn't it? He's not even going for the penetration. Oh. Oh, no, no, I, I, I much, much prefer... I would I would have set egg this guy and, and just gone everything through. And I know it's a bit shit, and he'll probably get past it. But if you try to defend properly... You're just losing it, you know? That's the thing. You're just losing. It'll take you a bit longer, but you're definitely losing. And now this is great for Mr. Page because you got extra mighty blow hits that he wouldn't have got, and leaving this absolutely insanely weak was not punished whatsoever in the slides. But I, I liked, you know, eight GFIs this turn. Ten GFIs from Nick. Ten GFIs. And like have one, two, three, four, five players or something over here. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever it took. Do something because you've lost, you know. But then maybe he doesn't think it's that bad. Oh well he doesn't get the extra blocks. He just stands up. He tried to do a jump up block. Failed. Like he could have literally just blocked with Mighty Blow and then gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, pumped him. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pumped him. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but he'd need a lot to get that. Flip me. There we go, just go for the kills. <laughs> Absolutely easy instant removal.
a three plus jump up block. He's claw pawn. But I mean, I still wouldn't have. I was just, I was just still blitzed with him and just blocked with the uh, warriors. Thanks, Vault Force, for that information. Um, the equity is is very, very small for Gadenic right now. He has small equity energy. <laughs> He's not bringing it back now. <laughs> no, it's it's he hasn't brought it back from non-existence to small. It's uh, it's just. It's a little bit smaller than it was before, but it's still small. It's, it's not over. It is over, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's not over. Don't say it's over! <clears throat> you know, but he's still going to get some chances to roll some dice and do something, but... I'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. It's not over, is it? Like it's it's not over. It is over. Flip me. It's gonna be amazing, guys. It will of course be over when the final whistle blows. You know, even if a game is eight nil, if there's a minute left, then uh, then it's not over. You see, according to Elliot, that's the only time you can say it's over, is when it is officially over, when the final whistle is blown. So if there was a football match and somebody was winning forty two nil, if there's a minute left, it's not over. Don't say it's over, because it's not over. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, so then, then you can say it's over Fault Falls. But not before. Never before then. To be fair to Elliot, <laughs> I was absolutely shattered the year that the uh, Patriots came back in the Super Bowl. And I thought it was over. And I was like, fuck this, I'm going to bed. Ah, thank you, Elliot. Thank you. Finally, Elliot subscribing to the real, the real definition. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Elliot. I'm glad. I'm glad we finally see eye to eye. <laughs> this was all. This was over when the bribe failed. By the way, that's when this game was over. That was when this game was over. Strength. <laughs> Definitely strength, David. Almost always strength on positions. Right? Nick has been, yeah, Nick has been brutally outplayed. Um, Mr. Page has, has, you know, blocked him and removed him. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's an amazing team, isn't it? Like, like, that's literally all he has to do. All he has to do is roll two dice blocks to, like, beat anybody. It's, it's disgusting, disgusting team. It's terrifying. See, he doesn't maximise blocks. Everyone says that Mr. Page maximises blocks, which is absolute bullshit, by the way. Absolute bullshit. He does not maximise blocks at all. He isn't. He isn't Chandra. That's the thing. He literally isn't. You've just seen him not do it there. He just moved this guy to there when he could have had. He could have had. He could have kept him here, and he could have had somebody else, like there, for the assist. Then he could have got the blitz into an extra hit, and he just doesn't do it. He never does it. He never maximizes hits. He never ever max. Never. Well, not never. Very rarely maximizes hits. But he fucking rolls them good. He fucking rolls good. I'll give him that. If I could learn to roll as good as him, I'd be a lot better. 
I would be a lot better at Blood Bowl if I could roll as good as him. I'd be so much better. I'd be almost unbeatable if I could roll as good as Mr. Page. Almost unbeatable. Four. I mean, quit playing is the best start. <laughs> Huge regen, yeah. Like... Man, it's, that was that was so frustrated to watch that he just he made that screen non-existent for literally no gain over there. And the one thing that you could argue that was maybe gain from it, he didn't even utilize anyway. It's just it's just hard to watch. Like he's fine, you know, he's fine. He's a totally fine blood ball player, better than most people. But like. It's just frustrating that every block's a card. <laughs> it's not actually, is it? He hasn't he hasn't actually done that much damage here. Three cars. Three kills. Yes, he hasn't done that much damage. But he's diced fuck out of me every time he's played me, I can tell you that. <laughs> Maybe that colours my perception of his dice. But then everyone dices fuck out of me. So there you go. Except Cheeky Jimmy. I did get to dice somebody the other day, that was nice. Still get dice with birds. I got, I got dice to fuck against birds the other day. That's why I got lost against the money. It's like a thirty percent that just didn't fail anything. It's cute that Nick's doing all this to try and act like there's a chance and it's still a game, but we all know it's over. This is thrilling, isn't it? The best part of Mr. Page games is when he has five opponents and takes the full three minutes. Oh my god, please play faster. Punch him, punch him. Blitz him, punch him. KG. Two minutes ago.
At least I get a look at Minecraft things. Oh, well, you can do this. And give him a chance to break tackle in. Maybe. Oh look, he got a dice on the ball somehow. Doesn't matter. Don't say it's over. Anything can happen. Just give us half an hour more of this, please. Watching people think is prime entertainment.
This is, I mean, the tension's really ratcheted up, hasn't it, the last few turns. This is fucking breakneck pace. I can't believe how exciting it is. Oh, it has. Oh, it has. This is the page playing well today.
but hey, I've uh, finished with my uh, finished with my Minecraft things. Have I missed anything? Why does it feel like half an hour? Like they're just not doing anything. Oh my god. now is I might fail it like so in going to 73 is pretty decent please I'm a seven he could go to six I guess the guy in three going to six is the best one I mean he's nearly a claw pummer I guess I can maybe see him going to 73 is the best one actually but it's a bit late now though, isn't it it's a bit late now Oh yeah, you could take it all to you, but nah. Cause it's too easy it's too easy for Nick to just mighty blow somebody and kill them. Well, it was a shame how crap it went, isn't it? Like, it just, they just suddenly all of a start of taking like three minutes every fucking turn, is what it felt like, anyway. It hasn't, it's just, maybe I'm just tired, but it's just like, like it's been over for a while, like really over, hasn't it? Like, I thought it was over when, when the bribe failed, but it's been super over for ages. And it's just like, the games, the, the turns suddenly start to take longer. Ugh. He's got two full rookies. I guess the block might eat to the other ones. Four, eight, ten players. Potentially eleven. Gets the riot two turns. Wins the toss. Eleven players. Wins. Don't say it's over. Uh, you can say it's over if you want.
Oh yeah, he's left the one turn on by uh, going tight otherwise. But he's only got ten players. So uh I believe he had to not leave somebody back for the ball. <laughs> Maybe he didn't. Yeah, I don't I don't think he can do it. That pushes him to there, that pushes him to there. He gets the last push from him. But how does he get the third? You can get him two more, can't you? But how do you get him the third? He's, he's just not done it. Not done it as he. I, I'm pretty sure he needed all eleven, and it's it's not been done correctly. He needed like somebody here or something, right, to do the last hit and do a big old chain at the end. I'm pretty sure that's what you need, like. Uh, Yes, it is. Yeah, do you believe it is? That's a good point. That's a good point. I can't believe you put the Block Claw Mighty on the LOS instead of the Block Mighty Warrior. Large 2. Must really value the strength. I guess he's got enough Claw Mighties, hasn't he? Our Lord Jesus. can push him but then you need one well you need millions now to do it this way I'm sure you have, have like somebody here or something that did something extra I can't really remember haven't tried many move 6-1 turners in my life Funny, isn't it? If you if you like good at blood bowl and want to be better, the best way is to get as good as core is at one turning, and it's still going to barely affect your win rate. It was unfortunate. It went. It went really fucking boring, didn't it? Once Mr. Pages going for the kills paid off. Uh, but you know, well rolled. <laughs> it's a funny old game, isn't it, Mr. Page? He always seems to like not screen properly and not have proper safeties, and you know, seems to leave loads of paths in when he's ahead. But. Um, he's also really good at rolling eight pluses and building the teams, isn't he? You know, he builds the teams, builds the teams, and like obviously he's competent enough compared to the average person. So there you go. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Commiserations. Good day, Nick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.